I never even planned on being a business owner. Isn't that wild? No, dude, I never, I was never like, I hear all these guys talk about, I want to be the boss and I want to be uh, myself, my own guy. Yeah, freedom. I never had the dream that I would be the boss. Wild. I was, I, I never had the inclination to be the boss. Never had the idea that I would be the guy. The guy. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I was a salesman. I was a leading salesman. Mm -hmm. I was a leader. And, and it didn't, I didn't need to be in management. I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want anything to do with management. Yeah, the responsibility. But, but it's weird because, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I'm like, I don't you want to. You got other people and, you know, you're. I you're, just want to be the leading guy. I like, I want to be LeBron. Yeah, I just want to produce. Yeah. You know, and I was fired. I don't know if you know this, but I got, I lost my job. Mm -hmm. the, the last kind of job I had where, where I was on a team, I lost that job. And I wasn't thinking about quitting or becoming a car dealer. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about it. I just wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, I, I just want to crank out my thing. I was making really good money. Yeah. I was in Lake Charles making, I don't know, 90,000, 100 grand a year. This was 35 years ago. That was a lot yeah. of money, man. Yeah. That was like 300 grand a day. Yeah. And, um, and I was in a small town, so I wasn't thinking big enough. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'd get a glimpse. I'm like, wow, how's that guy, that guy? But I really wasn't thinking about it, dude. I was kind of unconscious to it. Do you think it's because you just didn't have I, access to it? Like, I don't you know, man, I didn't it? think enough of myself. Yeah. I didn't think I could own a business. I, I, don't, I don't know. Do you think that's different than it, it is now? Like, do you think more people now are like, yeah, yeah, because I need to own my own business? Yeah, yeah, you, because they're seeing their own social. Yeah. The, the, there was no social back then, right? But here was a guy in front of me, he was, Terry Collins was probably just a little older than me. He was the car dealer's son. Mm -hmm. He was running it. He's going on fishing trips every weekend. He's fishing. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the, the dealership floor on the weekends. And I never put the two together like, bro, you need to be the owner. Yeah. And then when I locked, left that job, I went and worked for a guy named Tom Stuker. I was traveling all over the country. I was so fascinated with that job, learning how to, you know, speak in front of people, calling mm -hmm. people. I was so happy with the job yeah. that I never thought, okay, I'm gonna go out on my own. And then- the, the, Didn't your dad own his own business? Yeah, he owned a yeah he owned a store. He owned a life insurance company. Uh, so that's weird. So he-, he Yeah, I know. I never thought about it, crazy? it, bro. I never thought about it because I think I just thought I was making great money. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of people out there that are making great money. They're like, I don't wanna leave my great, because I don't wanna leave my great pay yeah, see, I think with, with no risk. Yeah, for me working for myself, so I end up losing that job, and I had this. I got in business for myself because here we go. Only because I couldn't do anything else. Yeah, and I would lose money for the first three years because I started from scratch. Yeah. What do you, you think? What do you think? What do you think that three years? If you would have had the right information. Well, I, first of all, I wouldn't. You know, you got you got to you got to know. It's probably why most people don't even ever make money in a business. They yeah. Had no clue. I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't know what to do first. I didn't know what to do second. Uh, I went and spent money on an office, a lease, printers, computers, like all I these things you thought you needed. An LLC, like I should yeah. have done any of that yeah. stuff. I was spending. I spent days figuring out what my name was going to be, rather than going and getting customers. I. I you know, now if I was to do it again today, I wouldn't do any of that. Uh -huh. I would go find a, a section uh, of businesses or sector that I'm excited and passionate yeah. about, and then I'd go. I would go solid, try to buy those businesses for with no money. Like for me, like there was a moment where I'm like, okay, where's my path? Because I think for a lot of people that work for somebody else, they end up going like, okay, where's this going? And, and, and they don't even think about having a conversation where they're at about how they can provide more impact, create more value, and ultimately multiply their income in the existing role that they're in. Yeah. And that's when you and I ended up having this conversation about, hey, 
let this is what the next role looks like. Yeah, dude. But why weren't you stepping up? Because you did the same thing I did. Well, because I, I have you know exactly. Now I realize I never stepped up. Yeah, I never said, hey, I could go do this. Why? Because I, I didn't know what to ask for. Uh huh. And what, that's, what do you mean, ask for? Like, well, because money? I didn't. You wanted more, yeah, well, more money? Yeah, because because I didn't know that like like I just assumed like I'm like okay, well I'm just going to be an employee. When the truth is, you didn't want just an employee. Uh huh. You wanted somebody who you could be like, this is a partner of mine, and I'm gonna yeah. like, we're gonna ride this thing out. Yeah, yeah. And and yeah. I didn't even know to ask for that, but it was the thing you wanted more than anything was yeah, somebody yeah. to step up that you could be like, hey, you're gonna give, you're gonna be responsible yeah. for this, and in exchange for that, I'm gonna give you a piece of yeah, the business. Yeah, that, that, that's that million dollar employee. And that's where the mindset shift happens. Yeah. And it's like, there's so many business owners that are willing to have that conversation and have that type of relationship with, with a top, top with, with a top, top producer. producer. Yeah. But the rather top producer, than rather than the top producer going out and doing something on his and own. having to try to start their own thing. Yeah, you see, you know, if Stuker would have done that with me. Yeah. The reason I left Stuker was because there was no place for me to go. Yeah. I was burning, bro. Like yeah. I was doing three hundred days on the road, and I was making unbelievable money. But I'm like, there's no. Yeah. There's no life here. Like yeah. he could. In fact, you, now that you said that, me. Two, three, four, think about four other guys that left. Yeah. All of them went and started their own businesses. Uh, and they didn't need to. All of them were, this guy had an ability to attract super talented yeah. people. Super, super producers, right? I was one of them. Yeah. And I would go on and b build the biggest business to all these guys. Sure. So. But he could have. He, he could have kept all, all of you guys. Money. He could be in real estate right yeah. now. He could be in healthcare. He could have funded all those other offshoot businesses, yeah. uh, rather than he still has one business today, yeah. same one he had forty years ago. Yeah. When I look at it, people today, because on social media there's so much like you have to own your own business. It's very. It's a very enchanting yeah, yeah. pitch. Yeah. Be your own boss. Yeah. You know, who do you work for? Business owner. I work for myself. Yeah, you know, business yeah. owners are the ones that, that have all of the ability to make more money. But yeah, not really. Like if you look at the people that make the most money in the world, you look at uh, 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 like Kevin Turner. Yeah. Was making forty million dollars a year. Is that what he was for, making? Yeah. Then? Wow. He was the highest paid COO in the country. Wow. When he was COO uh, at, at uh, Walmart. Let's go sit right here. Let me give you a different view of the plane. Okay. Sit back here with the champ. Do we need to close these windows? No. So I it, didn't know he was making forty million. Working for somebody. Working for somebody else. Look at yeah. all the look at all the um, the bankers, mm -hmm. you know, making ten, fifteen, twenty million dollars a year on Wall Street. You know, like working for somebody else. Working for somebody else. You know, yeah. you look at you look at um, it, I remember Qualcomm because I grew up in San Diego. Like when Qualcomm went uh, went public, like people cleaning the bathrooms became millionaires. Yeah, yeah. And it's like I think people overlook this idea of how much you can do as an employee if you, well, you understand could, the right questions to ask. Yeah. And you understand what the right opportunity looks like. Because so there, I could. There's really two other paths than the mil becoming a really high producer, million dollar employee. Mm -hmm. Anybody could do that, by the way. Yeah. The guy, the guy shooting the camera could do that if he chose to. He'd have to put the camera down. Yeah. At some point. Uh, Annie, Annie could it, but she'd have to figure out. Okay, how do I go from being a, an assistant? Yeah. To like getting closer to the revenue. Yeah. Kevin Turner, for him to make forty million dollars a year, he had to be connected to to the top line of the company, not 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 the the middle. Yeah. Expense line, right? Yeah. So there's that, becoming a high producer of a company you already work for. The other is, if you left right now, like if you left Cardone Enterprises right now, what would you do? Would you go start something on your own? You'd be tempted to, well, just because you're experienced. Well, because I'm experienced, and that's the other thing, yeah. is people underestimate how much value it is learning how the business works on somebody else's dime. Like they're right, like, right, I'm gonna right. go start my own business. Like, dude, go work for somebody for 10 years. Yeah. Figure everything out about Marketing, sales, fulfillment, customer service, running a PL, like uh, expenses, overhead, like all of these things. Building teams. Lawsuits, uh, yeah. uh, HR, like right, all right. of these things that you get to experience working for somebody else, by the way, with no risk. You learn all these things working for somebody else, and then it's like, hey, look, like, and, and look, my financial situation is different. 
Like if I left right now because because I've been yep. making money yep. as an employee. Yeah, yeah, well that would stop. Well, that would that come would to stop. zero. But because I've been making money as an employee, yeah. and I've been investing with the millionaire right, right. employee well, that's mindset. Right. That's right, that's right. Like now I don't now instead of leaving with no income, now yeah. I leave now you with that residual passive. twenty grand a month plus right. you know, uh, fifteen or eighteen million dollars of equity right. and, now, and all the real estate. Yeah. So now, now that would what, you though, would you put that at risk? to start something brand new. No, and that's the that's the caveat because it's like, okay, well, you know, you're gonna make two and a half or three million bucks this year, like, do you walk away from that? Yeah, it's hard, man. It's, well, and I'll tell you why, because there continues to be more opportunity and right. I'm in a position of creation of opportunity now. Right, right, right. So right, when I continue right. to see the ability to create more opportunity. Right. Like, like you know, if, you're if really, we went- You're into, really in control of your income without having the risk of the uh, of the whole and, business. And, 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 and because of the way I'm structured now, uh -huh. if we go out and we sell this thing for a billion dollars, like think about that. Like we go sell the company for a billion dollars, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that, 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 that money passes through. I'm like, how do I go create that on my own? Yeah. What we've created is so big. And yeah. that's what people need to look for. They need to look for. Well, this is what you know. People say, "Hey, man, what's what's the hardest money to make?" It's the first money that's the hardest to make. Yeah. Once you get rolling, and that's what happened to me when I started that first business. I took three years. I went from making a hundred grand a year working for somebody else, maybe one twenty-five, one forty-five, to zero. Yeah. You know the thing is, is that it goes back to that thing you always say, like, it's better to own a small percentage of a big thing yeah. than 100% of something that's small that you struggle with yeah, that you can't yeah. ever get to grow. Yeah. And and so for people that are employees right now, I think the things that you need to look at is number one, are you a top producer? Are you a high contributor to the point where you have the, you've earned from your produ production the opportunity to have the conversation? Because that's, if you, if you haven't done that, then the conversation goes nowhere. Number two is, is the company that you're with and the person that you work for, the one you want to have that conversation with? Like, is there opportunity? Like, when I saw you, I'm like, oh man, this guy's, this guy's going. Yeah. Like, I know, like, I'm going to roll with this guy and he's going to keep pushing, which means I continue to get more opportunity because if if you if you don't have that, then you have to acknowledge that you now, when you take this role on, that you become that person. And then the third thing is, is you have to be willing to structure a deal where you're married all the way through. Yeah. And, and you get to continue the momentum that you have because the two or three or four years that it takes you to get things rolling, there's so many risks it could not work. The economy could change. Think about people that tried to go or trying to go start a, a real estate business, and they left everything and they quit a year ago to go start a real estate business. Yeah. And now in this market right now, they're trying to get started in an almost impossible market. As an employee, I made so many mistakes. I was never number one. I was not thinking about being a millionaire. Yeah. I was thinking about paying my bills. Did you ever have like the? I'm just getting this guy rich. Never, because 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 you know they, never because it's so funny because sometimes people I say like it. you're you know all you're doing is making, making their making dreams the come true. Yeah, I, I never had that because I was making a look hundred grand a year. I was like, man, I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm the king here. Yeah. But I was just learning too. I was only five years, really five years, becoming serious. Twenty five, I, I, I committed to my career, and so at twenty nine, I was like, okay, I'm starting to get good at this. Yeah. I'm starting to get. I'm starting to build my career. I added a secretary. I was starting mm -hmm. to think like that. But I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to be mega rich. I wasn't yeah. thinking about it. I'm going to be on my own jet one day. Yeah. I'm going to be famous. You know, I, I didn't, none of that. Yeah. And then the job blew up on me. You know, well, like a lot of people, I think a lot of people just lose their job. Mm -hmm. And now I had to go do something else. I just took what I got. I was offered a manager job. I didn't want to be a manager. Mm -hmm. And... I was offered uh, more of an entrepreneurial consulting kind of situation with this this Stuker guy. And I took that because I thought it was a good challenge. Yeah. Now, I got another two or three years of this new thing. Still not thinking about running yeah. mobile. That blew up. It's like I was forced to go work for myself, not because I wanted to. Yeah. But none of the time was I thinking about, I'm gonna be a millionaire. Now, when I started working for myself, I was like, I gotta make this work. I, I gotta get back to where I was making a hundred grand. Yeah. 
I think this is the first thing everybody does. The big mistake is, okay, I can work for myself and make the same money and do less of it and not have to put up with a, with this guy. Mm-hmm. It was not easier to make that much money. More hours, more responsibility, well, well, more first, things to worry yeah, about. But, but I was scared, dude. Yeah. The, the first thing was I was scared. It was none of that stuff, which is the obvious stuff. It was like, I don't have his name to pitch. Yeah. I got to pitch me. I, I, I can't hide behind a company and an organization and a bunch of successes. I don't have any. Yeah. I got to create my own. Like, I got to get my first deal, dude. And then when you get one deal, then you got to like, I got to go get another deal. And it was just like, you know, it was so hard to get started because I was scared. It would have been so much easier to ride with somebody else. Yeah. And I mean, we got guys today that work for us that make more money than I ever made in the first probably five years of working for myself. Yeah. And they do it in year one. And it's locked in. And yeah. it starts showing up every year. Yeah. And then the other mistake that I made was I just picked a business that was bad. Yeah. I picked something I was passionate about. I should have done some research like Jeff Bezos did. Yeah. Hey, where are the eyeballs going? I would have never picked the business I'm in. Yeah. Ever. And if I had picked it, I wouldn't have picked the little piece that I picked. Yeah. I just didn't do any research. Mm-hmm. So today, if I was doing it today and I'm 30 years old, I'm going to go sit down. I'm going to do some research. Where's the money? Where's the eyeballs? Where's the opportunity? Uh, who owns these businesses? Are they tired? Could I just step into their shoes? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't start from scratch. I'd start, you know, I'd start on the 40-yard line. 